Hello friends, welcome to SourceCAD Tutorials. Today I will make an open-ended spanner with nominal size of 13 and 17 units in AutoCAD 2013. So let's start with our construction line. Now, offset this construction line at the distance of 110 units. Now we'll offset this horizontal line at the distance of 2 on both sides. Again, we will offset these two vertical lines at the distance of 6. Now, we will make base circles. will make first base circle with the radius of 16 units. We will make another base circle with diameter 29 units. Sorry. Just we have to make it with a diameter of 29 units. Next, we'll make another circle with radius 13 units. And another circle with the center and radius 9 units. Now we will remove all lines which are not required. Let's create multi lines. The command input for multi line is ml. We'll change specifications of multi line first justification and make it zero. Then scale and make it seventeen. Now go to center of the circle and make this multi line at the angle of 197 degrees we'll click anywhere outside the circle's geometry we'll make another multi line with a scale 13 units we will start this multi line at the center of the circle and again the angle will be 17 degrees now explode these two multi lines use trim command or extend command to 
to extend these lines. Once again, we'll remove all the lines which are not required at this point of time. Use trim. Similarly, we will remove unwanted lines from here also. Be careful while removing these lines. Just don't remove any line which is required. Now we can delete all the lines which are not required. open ends of a spanner is almost ready now we have to make handle of this spanner for that we will make a polyline that will join centers of both these circles now I will offset this polyline at the distance of 5 0.5 units on both sides now use trim command to remove undesirable lines Now we will fillet these sharp edges to complete 2D drawing of our spanner. For that we will use fillet command. And specify radius. First we will specify a radius of 47 units. Use multiple. Since these lines are not filleting, join them and explode it once again. Now fillet it again with radius 47 units and use multiple. Fillet this again. Now we'll fillet these two corners also, but with radius of 23 units. Use multiple. Now use extend command 
to complete the circle. Our 2D drawing of spanner is complete. Now we'll move to 3D modeling workspace. Now we'll convert this sketch into a 3D model. For that, I will use press pull tool and press pull this region at the distance of minus 2.5 units. I'll press pull it again at the height of 2.5 units. I'll convert it to shaded view so that it can be seen clearly. I'll press pull this region at the depth of 2.5 units. Press pull again at the height of 2.5 units. Similarly with this region, press pull it at the depth of 2 and at a height of 2. I will make this grid off. Now, our 3D spanner is almost complete. All we have to do is fill it some of the sharp edges. For that, Go to fillet edge and select radius. I will fillet it with a radius of 2 units and use chain tool. Now select your edges. Press enter and enter again. Now use fillet again. This time use a radius of 0.5 units and chain. Fillet this and this edge. I'll have to orbit it to select that edge. select a radius of 0.5 units and chain select the search and I'll fill it one by one I'm unable to fill it these all at once because these bodies are not combined First we have to union these bodies in order to fill it them all at once. So I'll union these bodies first of all. Now the body is combined into a single unit. Now I can fill it with a radius of 0.5 units. and press enter. Our 3D spanner is complete. And you can change its color to make it more viewable. Thank you guys for being with me. Have a nice day.